greetings and happy howlings everybody. I'm Rusty Dog and welcome to Elite Dangerous August Expedition and yes I thought I'd do a midweek stream as I said I might, might. Uh, so here we are um, and we're gonna do some further travelings uh, probably at a slow pace depending on uh, what we see what we encounter because uh, I'm finding that I'm doing this trip a little bit differently from my normal exploration where I'm looking for earth likes and water worlds and stuff like that this is all different now I'm looking for atmospherics with biologicals uh, it's a whole different outlook um, now if you remember me saying in the previous stream that I, I sort of wish I brought my asp because, eh, the anaconda, as good as it is, I kind of wanted to skim across the ground and look for plants, and the anaconda with its big nose wasn't helping. And it was difficult to land in some places. Um, now, if I can get my zoom back. Get it back down to one. There we go. So, with that in mind, I brought my asp. <laughs> so, I had the asp shipped out to the carrier because I felt like I kind of had to do it. And so here it is. I've left the anaconda on the carrier. So in case you're wondering about the numbers... Um, it took 21 hours to get this thing here from Shinrata Desra. Uh, so I had to wait on the carrier for that long. And it was a cost of 18.3 million bits to do it. So here we are in the ASP. Welcome on board. I have one thing to do in this system before we move on. And before I do that, I'm going to say hi to everybody in the chat. Uh, who has popped up. So, Thomas Hughes TV. Hi, Thomas. THTV. Call you that? Can I get away with that one? Uh, I kick your anus. That's right, isn't it? <laughs> How are you doing, sir? Uh, yeah, hopefully the transaction won't be... Uh, transaction server won't be giving us too, much, too many problems. I hope not. Tegnaro, my man. How are you doing, sir? Hope you're doing well. Commander Bodricks, uh, greetings to you, sir. 07, Steve Abrahart, welcome. Um, Fatini, hey, Fatini. Hey, how's your exploration been going? Are, are you gelling with it? Is, it? is it coming through for you? Is it all good? Uh, Commander Budman, one and only. Yes, he certainly is. Hi, Commander Budman, how are you, sir? Uh, yep, yeah, nice to see you. It looks like, on your avatar, it looks like a guy is behind, like he's in the light and we're in the dark kind of thing. Because I've got dark mode on, so it probably doesn't look the same for you. But it looks like he's holding up a circle as if it's like a sheet. I don't know. Never mind. Yeah, uh, right. Uh, Niels Lecoultre, is that right? I don't know if I've got that right. Sorry if I butchered it. Uh, Commander Twin Twin Frost. Oh, hi, Commander Twin Frost. Welcome, Roger Mady. How are you, sir? Uh, yep, eighteen point three million, Steve. One eight point three to get this ship out of here. But it was worth it. It was worth it. Commander Pandit. Greetings, Commander Pandit. How are you? Star Lost. Hey, Star Lost. Commander Glenel. Oh seven, sir. Uh, just getting used to Odyssey, to be honest. Good, good, good. Um, I always assume most streamers will pronounce, well, because there's letters missing. <laughs> I, I never would have figured it was that. Yeah, because it just looks like Icaranas to me. Or whatever. I never figured it to be I kick till it was pointed out, but yeah. Okay, uh, you've got to get right in there if you're going to do that, though, because it's right. That's that's uh, 
That's past the cheeks. Anyway, Commander Gypsy. Hey, Commander Gypsy and Simondo Sago. Welcome. One welcome all. Okay. So, where am I heading to? Well, sure. I've been here, haven't I? Yes, I footfalled there already. I haven't footfalled here. So I think I'm going to go there. There's, oh no, it was this place. Right, I'll tell you why. Because when I did the FSS scan of this system, it showed this planet and this planet to have one biological. It actually showed that in the FSS. Now, in the case of this planet, it was bacterial. So I want to see if every time there is a... Um, if the, every time there's a, uh, a biological with a one in brackets, is it always going to be bacterial? But this place is a little way out. So, I should have started this while we were chatting actually, but I'd forgotten how far it was. All this way just for a bacterial. Is it really worth it? Probably not, actually. Probably not. Let's see if we've still got the route plotted. 42 jumps to get to the bubble sector. Let's just do that. I'm not going to bother with that. Let's get out of here. I probably would have done it on my own, but on stream it's going to be a bit far. Mad Seeker! How are you doing, Mad Seeker? Not always bacteria, but it is often. Well, the last time uh, on that last planet, as I said, it was bacteria. And um, if you've been on my Discord, You'll have seen the picture of what it looked like. It was pretty much, uh, it was pretty much green vomity stuff. Um, let me see if I can grab the image for you. If it uh, lets me find it, if I go into my recent folders. That would be that one. So where's the green vomity back to? You? This big guy. It won't take me too long to find the screenshot because it was one of the last things. Oh, oh, I've got it. Yeah. So that's kind of what it looked like. In fact, that's exactly what it looked, to be honest. So it, it stuck out a mile. Uh, they were like, it, from the air, it looked like little spots of snow or something. Little, you know, snow dots, like everything else had melted, but there was little bits of snow left. But it wasn't. It was just loads of, um, it was loads of uh, bacterial colonies. And sometimes you they're hard to spot, but on this one, well, not so much. They're very, very visible. Oh, where did I go in there? Right. Are we are we scooped? Can we scoop? We just scoop. Yeah. Yes on all case. Well, how many bodies? Seventeen. What do we have? Oh, that means somebody's been here. Oh, yes. It still does. Just discovered and mapped. Sure, that's an Earth-like or not? Might be high metal. But targeting it will tell us. Uh, oh god, now I can't remember my maps. Is that an Earth-like map? Can't actually remember. Hmm. See, what I did was I went on the galaxy. I went down a little bit like this. And then plotted the way to the bubble nebula. But I think I need to go down a bit more. Because it looks like I'm still in the path of. Uh, of where people have been already. And I kind of want to get to some newer places. So there's nothing much here of interest for me. But I'm going to do that. I'm going to just pop downwards. To where those systems began with S. Was it Shafe? Shafe something? No, shoe. Sure, there was one with an F, but okay. Go down. Go down. 
So, yeah. It's only 319 light years, so it's not very much. Five jumps. And we'll just head downwards before we head across. And that way we'll be taking a line slowly upwards to the bubble if you got my drift. So, if anyone is on the chat who's already particip who is participating as well in this expedition, be interested to know how you're finding it, if you've come across some cool stuff. I have some nice screenshots uh, put in the Discord. A few people have found those uh, long, those tall things, um, those tall, they look like bark things, but they're not, it's just like a, a tall brown leek thing. Red background on, a red back to you and a red background. Yeah, I mean, I've seen ones where it's like a d desert sand kind of look, and the bacteria is the same color. The only thing you can tell is that there's a round patch of, where it's like cracked. You know, you just see it a bit cracked. And I try not to lose my, my way here. So. I sh actually... I actually should have brought the Asp in the first place. Really. I should have brought them both on board. And one day, I'll find the correct map. Here it is. Right, hum... Did I honk it? Yeah, 11 bodies. Okay. So nobody's been here. Just one jump down and already we're in an undiscovered place. Nobody's ever been here. So let's go get them. So no earth likes or water worlds, unfortunately. Just rocky and icy worlds. Boring. Well, it used to be boring. It used to be. Now, now it's not so boring anymore. I just want to... Uh, Step away a little bit from the local star. Make it a little bit smaller. Something like it. And let's have a look now. Features on that one. Two biologicals. Okay, I'm going to target that one. We'll have a look at that. Uh, it's got 0, 0.00 atmospheres though, but that doesn't really bother me because it doesn't mean that the planet's not going to look really cool. That looks okay. I will name this planet Bubble and Squeak. <laughs> if you know, you know. Just look. Oops. The hell have I done? It just looked like bubble and squeak to me. Yeah, I'm hungry. Oh, I, I love the sound effects on the planets. So good. Well, at least it's answered my question about does the FSS show biologicals? So I suppose that would mean that I maybe don't have to probe it anymore. Interesting. Ice caps on both sides there, look. Wow, that effect. Ooh. Okay, three biologicals on planet three. So we've already got one marked, so I'm gonna just write down the number three. 0 0.02 atmospheres. Okay, so that looks like that looks like it may have something for us in terms of an atmosphere. Interesting. Planet eight. It looks like I can map this out in my head. It looks like we may have just a single line of planets. Three biologicals on planet two. Oh, excellent. So we'll be looking at planets one, two, and three by the looks of things. And that looks an interesting surface as well. Oh, <laughs> it's 
sorry. I'm going to be pressing wrong, wrong buttons all day. So all that's left now is some icy bodies. No. Ooh, I... There we go. System scan complete. Right, so we have nine planets. All in one line, I suspect, right? Indeed. So, 4A, yeah, it's atmosphere, but this one isn't, but we'll go there anyway. It doesn't mention the biological, does it? There we go. I knew it would tell you somewhere, but I couldn't remember where. So two there, three there, three there, and, oh, none here. Yeah, do by can you get biological in a non-atmospheric world? Okay, so we're going to go to two, three, and four A. I think that's... Uh, I know all these planets in here, every single one will be, would be a first discovery, but if I spent the time doing all of these, and every planet's landable, but if I spent the time doing them all, I'd, it would take me, you know, I'd be spending an hour in each system, at least, you know. Actually, I want to planet number two for it. Hey, Andy, how are you doing? Come on, uh, Sterling, Sterling Anderson, hi, and Razor Firefly, hi Razor. Uh, Steve Zodiacs, Steve Zodiacs, how are you doing Steve? Tuberous things, I found some macaroon ones. Tuberous. You guys want to hear a joke I made up today? The answer to that question is no, you don't. By the way, never want to hear. <laughs> but I'll tell you, fingers and ears, you don't want to hear. Um, yes, I wasn't sure if I had a photographic memory, but then it clicked in a flash. Oh, God. Right. Shut up, Bruce. Do not give up the day job. Already, already done that. <laughs> we Commander Pandit, yes. <laughs> Now then, this looks really bright, so I wonder if perhaps we should maybe scoot around. Not on the Terminator, but near it, maybe. Wow, interesting surface. Look at, look at all the, where the reticle is. All those, like, icy bits. Man, that looks nice. Okay. Well, let's give it a probe if we need to i mean yeah we need to because we need to get the the mapping award you have mapped this planet so many though are just requiring six probes i've only had one that's that was seven efficiency target six yeah i've had one that was seven that's it i've not seen any of the small planets where usually five that black ring is what? Surface scan complete. Okay, we're done. So we have, obviously, bacterials and two others. Fungoids and osseus. Osseus, 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 osseus. Ignore me. Right, so if I go to the fungoids, there's a patch here. You'll see where in the middle of the reticle there. There's a patch there, and if you go to um, Osseus, it's it's 
blanket carpet there so and as for bacterial colonies well it would have to be right there but if I can I flip it into oh I was trying to get it into uh, combat mode we need a toggle key for this thermal map instead of this combat mode take it off because I wanted to try and pinpoint hold on though if I if I head for right that little leg that comes out there if I head for that then I'm pretty much in amongst all of it okay so we'll head for that probably gonna have to create a little bit of an angle and slow down a little so this this patch here looks like an upside down UK well Great Britain anyway no not Great Britain <laughs> never mind I'm not getting into that UK Great Britain different looks oh this is gonna be dodgy though <sighs> okay maybe we can set down I think we're going to have to move around in order to get the um, to in order to get uh, everything because I'm I don't think the other plants are going to grow here. There is a white patch there though, maybe here. If not, we'll have to take off and just above there where it's all white. We'll maybe have to have another go landing there. But the anaconda wouldn't get down here, so we'll do it in this. You hear the NV help showing bacteria. Oh, night vision. Um, does it? Hmm. I don't have night vision on the Artemis. I do have it on the ship, though, but not on the suit. But... I don't have to use the Artemis suit, do I? Until I actually... Yeah, until I actually find um, plant, plant. Give me a sec, guys. One. Right, I'm back. Did my autopilot save me? <laughs> that was close. I, I didn't even realise I was done with the glide. Now then, where wasn't I? That could have ended bad. Okay, so, as for a landing, uh, that's... I don't think there's anything here, though. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Did I just miss something there? Are they rocks? Yeah. Are they? Oh, it's these things. Oh, now, did anyone see the uh, Elite Dangerous stream today from Frontier? Somebody posted a screenshot with these. I'm going to see if I can reproduce it. It's kind of cool. 
If you've seen it, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, well, just be ready. So this is Osseus. Osseus, or, yeah, Osseus. Come on, you can land here, no problems. You're on your little asp. Get your asp together. Come on. This is easy. For a lovely, lovely ship like you. Best ship in the galaxy. Come on. There you go. Thank you. He likes compliments. No. Okay. I don't have to travel too far, so we'll just uh, come straight out. Blue areas, no. The blue areas is when you're scanning plants, uh, if you scan it and it's blue, it's because you haven't found anything by going. It's not diverse enough compared to the last sample. Didn't look too far away. Oh, seven, Chris. How you doing, sir? Yeah, that was sketchy landing. But again, look, there's no way the anaconda lands there. That's how far we are from the heart nebula. Not too far. Now then, if I can recreate this shot, it'll be kind of cool. So I think we'll go with this hole there, and I'll just put myself, maybe, I don't know where I have to be, maybe here? Yeah, try there. I want to turn around for this one. Okay, let's see if I can control the camera to where it needs to be. Okay, I'm going to slide down a bit now. But, kind of frame it a little bit better if I can. That's going to mean going up. Get away with that one. Right, I don't recall seeing them with this green greenery effect. So let's take the first sample. And we have, oh, lime. Osseous pumice, lime. See, now if I pulse scan it, it's going to be blue because. Well, obviously, it's the, exactly the same genetic code as the pre as the one I've just sampled, and we need one that's slightly different biologically. So, another amazing landscape. This is, just looks really good. Should I SRV it? Good evening, freaky deaky deaky freaky dude. Oh, the scan from orbit. No, the blue areas. I don't trust the thermal map for for um, for that. I don't think the thermal map does show biologicals at all. I don't think so. Because if you compare it with another map of one of the others, let's say you have bacterials plus something else, you'll find the map's the same. Bacterials doesn't have its own separate map. That's the thing. If it's on its own, then yeah, then maybe you have a chance. All right, let's take the ship and we're going to fly. Oh, okay. I didn't check. Let's have a quick look in the codex and see how far we need to fly. Um, so I made a biological discovery, which was organic. It was osseous. 
and it was osseous pumice. It was osseous pumice lime confirmed by me and reported by other people. Uh, and osseous is 800 meters. Okay, so we need to find we need to find another one that's more than 800 meters away. Well, there's some there, but that's nowhere near 800 meters. Now this is why I wanted this ship to be able to look down and crash. Yeah, just to be able to look down instead of having to peer over the anaconda's nose, which was proving tricky. Would you say that was a... is that a rock? Do you know what? No, it isn't. Would you say that was 800 meters? Oh, hello. We got some other fellas here. Okay, let's see if we can grab a landing. Let's go back a bit, because I think we had a spot there. 800 meters, eh? This is going to be a nice little adventure, because now I don't want to move the ship anymore. <laughs> yeah, but what about the stalk, Freaky? Yeah, end up looking like Bob Ross. There's a something behind me. I don't know if it's a bronzite crondite or a mesozoderite, whatever. But uh, I'm I'm really done with those at the moment. Although I could probably do with some SRV repair refills. So let's have a quick scan and see if it'll do it. No, no, we're not quite far away yet. It's still blue. Okay, let's take a look at this. What is this? I think this, is this purple because of the scan we just did? Yep, there we go. Brains? Oh, oh, I've not seen these ever before. Wow. Talk about cherry picking. Lovely. Any Anyone up for some uh, <laughs> galactic Brussels sprouts or some... I guess, look at the way that they scatter across the hill there. Just this, that zigzaggy pattern in the distance. That's really good. Okay, we'll have to scan these after we've done the, uh, the pumice. So I'm going to keep the ship there and see if I can find some more of these pumice things. So these must be the fungoids then. Ah, oh, that looks really clever. That's nice, man. It looks really good. Nice clever design there. Oh, hello. Ah, that's that's a fair way. Rust, you might want to uh, take the vehicle over there. That's... Yeah, that's quite a bit of a run. Go and get the SRV. Save yourself some time. I left it right next to the ship. See, now he's... Oh, why can't we have binoculars, guys? The Luke Skywalker kind, you know? Just zoom right in. Your frontier. Actually, I said binoculars, didn't I? Hmm. Maybe we already have them. I don't think it is... I don't think they are the plants. Wh which direction was I looking? So, external cam. Turn around. That's as best we're going to get. That's kind of a workaround for your binoculars. Seven hundred and ninety-nine meters. Oh, uh, you know what? Let me just disembark one more time, and we'll and we'll find out how far away we were. Once the visor has initialized. Yes, yes, atmosphere, 
surfaced, yes. Thank you. 500 meters. So we've got to go another 300. Okay. We can do that. Oh, we have to go this way. I think it was. Yeah, and there's some over that on that ledge there as well. Let's land here. Gently. Gently. Perfect landing. <clears throat> now the previous <sighs> planet, gravity, atmosphere. Really do we need this every time? Okay. Eight hundred and thirty meters. That's outside the uh what was said so we're green let's get closer excellent ouch All right, so we need one more, and then we can come back and do those little brain th fun fungal brains. So I believe it was this way, wasn't it? Not really sure now. Yes, it was. But I think that's not quite 800. How far away from the other one? Come on, visor, come on. Oh, 350. Yeah, a little ways to go then. And I don't think this direction is worth continuing on because I don't know if these things are going to grow in the browner areas. Because that's how it goes sometimes. You, you change the colour of the landscape and suddenly you find that those don't grow there anymore. So, how are we going to do this? Let's try up here. Try and follow the same colour of the ground. Oh dear. Why do I... Oh, I found some. I found some. And it wasn't these. Ooh. It's to my left. There's some over here to my left. I spotted them from way up. But we may be double backing on the ship if we go that way. So let's try these. That'll do. That'll do nicely. And that completes our biological scan. Right, now let's concentrate on the uh, pink Brussels sprouts. Hey, Aquatic Borealis, how are you doing, sir? Back to the ship. Oh, should we go over this? Well, uh, oh, how much more unfriendly the landscape is these days. Ah, oh, I knew you would twist me around before. Great, now I can't see where I'm going. Why do you always do this? Spin me round every time. Let's 
kind of unnerving how the landscape moves as you uh, get closer to it. But I think even Flight Simulator does that, so... Right, stop here. I haven't seen too many of these, so I hope the distance to scan the next one is is um, not too far. This will be my first to scan this though. I've never seen these things before, but they just look very cool. I'm going to take off the uh, display. Take a screenshot. This one looks like it's been a little bit uprooted. Am I under 60? Okay. It looks like it's been uprooted a little bit, that one. Yep. It's sticking out the ground. Uh, right. What is this thing? Fungoidius Brainius. Fungoida Bularium Peach. Well, I wouldn't eat one. Okay, so... Into the SRV. This is certainly one for me. Infinite inf whale. Can't say I'm enjoying the new plants. They look nice, but the fact that you can find them the same ones. Well, it's not just like the same ones. Like you might find the same species here, but they won't be peach. It might be red or lime. I know it's kind of a it's kind of a lame way of you know, but there are a lot of different ones. And yeah, you know, they're all over the galaxy, but it's better than nothing. Because um, we didn't have anything before. But, yeah, I'm enjoying it. And they might add more in at some point. Who knows? There's no reason at all why they can't create more. But for a first step, if you look in the codex, You'll see there's quite a few, and then you'll also see that there's quite a few um, versions of that, like Fungoida, which there's another version, which looks nothing like one I've just discovered. So this is this one, this one, and there's 18 varieties just of Fungoidia. So, confirmed. And Commander Blind Bandit has reported another one. So I'm not the first one. So, right, so uh, clonal colony range is 300 meters, so that's not too bad. Oh, yeah, I mean, but if you're out exploring, I've turned my graphic settings up um, for explore, exploring because obviously I'm not going to be anywhere near any bases um, or anything like that. And even when I went into the uh, art sector's... Um, Asteroid base with the with the concourse. I, I was still pushing into the fifties, but my frame rates may change soon. Hmm. I'm gonna leave that one hanging, guys. But my frame rates may change soon. Just leave that one there. Okay, so three hundred meters. I think. Remember when they zigzagged here, over there. I think if we can go that way, I can run 300 meters. Unlike me, my virtual commander is as fit as a butcher's dog. They are scattered everywhere here. How they're growing out of this rock, I don't know. So, the previous scan then was... Oh, flip. We're only 130 meters away. Oh, we need to dr we need to go further out. Okay, so they clearly grow on this type of rock. So I'm going to try and stick to this this surface. Now is when you need the SRV, though, really. Yeah, I've seen a big bunch of them here. I mean, look, they're all up there. We just quickly, uh, oops, press the wrong keys. Uh, 
<laughs> aquatic. Uh, sort of and sort of and sort of not. That's my Asabi up there. Um, yeah. Yes and no is the answer to that one. Probably. Yes. If your character dies out there, you, no. If my uh, if my character dies, if the if the person dies, I'll respawn in my ship. I believe. Okay, so we need to be three hundred meters from where we are. Not like I can plant a flag or anything. I have no idea which way to go. Uh, that looks inviting. Okay, let's go down here. But that's behind the ship. But that's good, because it means there'll be less chance of it flying away. Oh god. Right, now. Gotta be a bit more careful with the SRV now. It's gone. A, well, I'm not gonna say gone are the days when you used to be able to just boot the accelerator and then just fly. But you don't get too much flat ground these days. I think this is a bunch load of osseus, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, bad landing coming in. That even sounded like a bad landing. Ouch. Right, is that osseus? Or are they just rocks? There might not be anything this way at all. I'm going to keep an eye on my ship just to make sure I don't drift too far away from it. Yeah, there is Osseus down there. I thought I saw a couple, but I'm not seeing anything of the others. Might be a little bit rarer. Is this a jump? Not really. Do we see any? Not seeing anything pinky. How the hell am I going to get two more samples of these? I may have to use the ship. Oh, I'll get that message th uh, through Commander XLA and welcome to the stream, sir. Oh, there we go. Oof. God, I didn't even see them until I was pretty much on top of them. Wow. Right, these are definitely more than 300 meters. Not even going to, uh, yeah, I'm not even going to do a pulse scan to find out. Okay. So, we scanned some where the ship was, which was over there. 1.7 kilometers away. Got some here, so if we can find some, the uh, single osseus, if we can find some over here, then we'll have kind of a triangulation. All right, so we've got we've got two. I'll tell you what, they were hard to spot until I got really close and then they just suddenly appeared. Even though I have the draw distance set to maximum, they kind of just phased in at the last moment. Jump over them, there we go. Don't want to destroy any. They may not grow anywhere else in the universe. But they do, we know they do. So I'll just try a little bit this way. And boost. 
and if we see anything on landing, we should be good to go in terms of distance. Okay, let's have a look around. There's some flat plateaus over there, kind of thing. Anything around here? There's another Assayas possibly on the right there. I don't even know if they grow near each other or what the trend is. Yeah, my ship's just taking off now because I'm, I'm three kilometers or more away. It doesn't matter. I just wanted the ship to stay there for the uh, original... Um, for the original marker for those um, pink or peach plants and it's it's done that so yeah I don't need the ship here right now just need to find one more sample and then there's two more planets in this very system some more Osseus growing here Osseus Os Osseus Osseus I don't know how to pronounce it uh, pink Land Rover. <laughs> I don't know. I think b probably Barbie had one. I've only ever seen one car that looks cool in pink. And it was, well, it, it wasn't real, but they did build it. It was a, from a cartoon. Remember the Pink Panther? The Pink Panther's car? I used to have it as a toy. It could only have been pink though, that car. Oh, oh, two, two, two cars. Uh, Lady Penelope's uh, Rolls Royce. Pink Spitfires? That to frighten the, frighten the Nazis away, was it? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go back. Let's go back over this direction. Was Penelope Pitstop's car pink as well? Oh yeah, didn't it have pink wings or something? Did they ever catch that pigeon, by the way? It's probably shacked up somewhere with the roadrunner. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't be falling down there. Unless there's something pink and shiny. Globular. done too much falling into trenches let's take a look I think I need to uh, venture in a different direction I don't really fancy trying to get over there I don't see anything growing If there was some here, I would venture a go. I wonder if that's crossable. We cross, cross there. Probably not. I get stuck in the middle. Wouldn't be able to get up either side. And then I'm doomed. Uh, don't you fall, because you can't summon the SRV. Yeah, I think we're going to have to venture in a different direction. Don't fall, just don't. Oh, it's a Sayus, damn it.
They're not growing here, are they? Not really. We'll have to go in a completely different direction. Katie Price has a pink Range Rover. Yeah. Well. Oh! Other way! Turn round! There we go. Now, all you have to do, Rusty, it's very simple. Turn round, and then you follow your tracks back. That's it. Couldn't be simpler. Turn round. Watch your tracks. Just follow your tracks. Now, I wonder if we should go that way. Wish me luck, guys. Shields up. Actually, no. Full engines first. Oh, we didn't get a good launch, really. Got held up there. Shields. Yeah. That's fine. Reckon we can get up here, guys, if we get a good run. Fearless. Absolutely fearless. Not true, not true. Can we clear it? Oh, come on. Yes. Ow. Where the hell am I getting myself now? We'll probably end up coming back to the original ones that we did. Now then. Now then, here's a little smattering. Something tells me that we're good in terms of distance. Yes, sir. We can bring the ship back now. Good luck, Asp. I'm sure you'll find a place to land. Oh, God, how many? Wow, it's like cherry blossom. Okay, so we, we may have found a couple more. <laughs> yeah. Pull back, pull back. No, forwards, forwards, forwards. Now, camera back. Go. Screenshot. That's quite a few. So, let's get the ship back. I don't know if it's going to be able to land anywhere close. It might, may do. It not being an anaconda. Can you eat them? Wouldn't it be good to, to try it and see if you get ill or not? Nom, 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 nom. Space berries. <laughs> now where is it going to try and land? Top of the SRV? Or are you just going to uh, not bother? Not going to bother? No, okay, it's not going to bother. Well, I can just I can just walk under that and get put in, but that's no good for me. I need to be... Oh, God. It's going to pick me up from the air. Great. Now it's half an hour to figure out where to go. We need a marker for this. Ideally, we could do with a marker. Just like the round blue disc on the ground. Wait for that board ship to light up.
How do you line yourself up compared with the radar there? Does it help if you're on it? This isn't going to work. I mean, it will if you find the sweet spot. The problem is finding the sweet spot. I'm assuming that the, the ship is directly above where the line ends at the bottom. So why isn't the board ship lighting up? All right, there might be a way to reference this. If I get out... Right, so the blue cone... Uh-oh. The blue cone is here. That references the back of the ship. Okay. So this is the back. So from the back to there, it's a straight line this way. So I probably need to be maybe just to the left of these rocks here. We'll put that there. Uh, yeah, just just guessing. Go back. There's the rocks, right? The pile of rocks. If I put myself maybe just to the left. Maybe I have to go back a bit. Hmm. Don't know. Let's try... There. I think we had to go a bit more forward than the length of the ship because we're higher up or something. I don't know. There we go. On board we get. Whoa! At least now I can w we can roughly work it out from the uh, from the blue marker. Couldn't do that before. Double boosting in this, not not great, unfortunately. Steve, why, why, why are you even thinking of this? Ah, Colorado. <laughs> wow, look where we are. Let's get up. Okay, on to the next one. This is all in one system now. You spend... I, I'm finding spe that I'm spending more time in one single system now. But I'm never bored with it. It's just... It's just great to see, that, you know, how diverse everything is now. So we just need to keep going up and up vertical until we get above orbital cruise. Space grapes. Do you reckon they're seedless? Well, actually, the way that they are growing there, that big mass we found, I'm going to guess there's seeds in them. I just don't want to meet the creature that's pollinating. Some nebula bee. Which head wasp? I don't know. Or little tiny Thargoidian midget uh, midges. <laughs> midges don't pollinate, but you know. They might do out here. So this one had. Planet 3 have th three bacterials as well. It's 
click on here and go to planetary information. Yep, three on here. Uh, I wonder if it's going to be the same thing. And again, it might we might find fung fungoidia again, but it might not be peach. It might be mango or strawberry or apple, pineapple or something. Fungi have spores. Yes. Spore parts. Spare parts. Or... Oh, the mollusks, yeah. Those little friendly mollusks. That my my the day my anaconda made a friend. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, guys. Just thinking now, on the way back, when we do set off back from the bubble, there's nothing at all to stop us. Just having a little stopover, maybe for a few hours, in the Spirograph Nebula. Because we went there twice and it was so... Well, I went there twice. Uh, on stream we went there once, but I did go back. And it was so... Such a great little place. But that was pre-Odyssey. I'd like to go back again. Check it out now. Alright, so maybe we're going to land a bit more to the Terminator side. Here, or right on, the, right on it. Maybe near the ice cap as well. Let's get in a bit closer and fire off what is probably going to be six probes. Indeed. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, y cinco. Five should do it. Tends to be okay. Get one underneath the requirement. Surface scanned by 50%. Surface scan complete. See, bacterial colonies is pretty much <laughs> planetary coverage there. Fungoids, ooh, quite not very really well scattered there. And osseous, pretty much, again, look, you see, uh, if we go into bacterial and osseous, it's, oh, it's not the same. Well, but that covers that. That's all. And we've got bacterials there. Ah, so look. The bacterials are only found in this great big patch here. Um, the middle of the reticle is. There's no fungoids there. And there's no osseous there. Well, well, well. Looks like it does have its own little filter after all. Okay. I'm interested in the fungoid. Probably going to try and land here. Hope we've got some kind of nice atmosphere like last time. Because if we land it near the Terminator here, we can maybe get a nice sunset. I'm not seeing an atmosphere around it, so it's not going to be that thing, I don't think. I'm going to aim for that pool. Right there. Orbital flight engaged. Yeah, hopefully it's going to slow down at some point. Keep slowing down. Quicker, 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 quicker. Oh, it's going to be tricky. Oh. Phew. Right, can you switch modes? Ah! No, 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 no. I'm in a bowl of spinach here, guys. Where am I going to land? In that crater. Did we get the sunset that I was asking for? Almost. Something like this. Yeah. So I either land inside there, or perhaps, oh the hell am I going to get from species to species now? I'll have to be, I'll have to do it with the ship. Let's see if we can land here. 
It's a bit rugged. It is. Double engineered. Yeah. Nice. That, that was a nice thing. Have you ever seen the movie Starship Troopers? I don't think so. That one. I'm still going on with my alien films. I thought there was only three alien movies. Now it turns out there's actually officially six. So I watched the fourth one last night. Uh, alien Resurrection? Is it? Uh, and I thought it was a lot of crap, to be honest. And that was even considering Sigourney Weaver was in it. Didn't like it at all. Uh, yeah, the first couple were okay. In fact, I even think the third one might have been passable. But yeah, Aliens 4. Yeah, the first three were okay. The first one was the best by a mile. Um, but then four is... And now the, the next one I have to watch is Prometheus. And then the last one is Alien something. And I don't know. Bronzite Krondite. Wow, interesting. We're going this way. Oh, wait a minute. Did I not put my... Keep forgetting. Give me a sec, guys. Just need to pop into the ship. Oh, I got my got my shades. Prometheus is not very good. Yeah, I'm not expecting it to be. Right now, I'm just watching them for completion's sake. I'm not really expecting the rest to be any good. None of them have got Sigourney Weaver in them, so... That I can see. Ellen Ripley. Okay. Let's turn the lights off. So, I've landed, and I haven't even seen if there's any... Fungoids. The ice is cracking under the wheels. Are we going to find anything? It's a shame they don't come up on the SRV scanner, so you can just kind of hone in. Thing. Maybe, not in my luck, they'd probably go under the ground at night. <laughs> yes, Alien vs. Predator. I'm gonna, there's a few of those movies as well, so I suppose I should watch those. I mean, if I can make my brain get past the fact that they are, that they've actually met in the same universe, apparently the aliens get. The, the story is that the aliens are, are, are... Is breeded a word? Breeded? So that the predators can hunt them for sport. Something like that. Yeah, great tie-in. Mind you, if Batman and Superman can meet, what well, anything's possible, right? I don't know if I'm going to find anything around here. And I'm quite okay with my ship taking off if it has to. I just want to do a little bit of scouting first to see if I can... Oh, sugar. Find something. Can you twiddle yourself around, Rust? Oh. I was trying to get myself turned around. Oh, this is so weird. Why does my headlights darken the sky? What's that? Really? I'm oh, not right there. Are they still, are Frontier still to address the lighting? Did they say that they've still got some stuff to do? I think they marked it as fixed in update 6, but I wouldn't quite agree with that. 
And if the, the sun looks like it's going down quite quickly, it, these are going to be harder to spot. I'll put night vision on just in case. Something like a... Uh, Bacterial crops up and we might be able to see it. Then, do we have something here or is it just rocks? rocks? I think we need to fly to a different place. I'm dismissing it because I don't want to go back to it from here. I'd rather have it come to me. because you might not get out. So damn curious, it's going to do me in one day. That's deep, Rusty. Don't go down there. Oh, yeah, there's no getting out of that. <laughs> that, can, that chasm right there in front of me. There's no coming back from there. Although it does look wider than the last one. But my ship would just come back and go, nope, and yeah, it's not going to happen. I mean, look, I'm already on this massive slope, but it's about to get a lot worse if I get too curious. But if there's plants down there, oh god, I've got the bre the handbrake is on, guys, and I can't stop it. We're sliding. Oh god, no! Stop! Stop sliding! Stop it! <laughs> I guess. I guess I went a little bit too far, and there ain't no rescues here. No one's coming to get me this time. Oh, there's more! There's more! There's more. It gets deeper. What the flip? Please, son, don't go down. It's getting too dark. There's going to come a point where will literally only be lit up by the ambience of the of the galaxy. And and that is a thing, it actually does happen. It's a bit of a scary shot there. Rhino, 1154, how are you, sir? Yeah, it's a pity you can't just jump out and... This is cool because I'm all... I'm all in red because of my ship's lights. Come on, back a bit. Take that. I do not have night vision on this suit. I should be, perhaps switch. This will be the first time that I will have switched to Maverick suit. Maverick stealth has to be the one I want. If it's stealth, it's going to have night vision. It has to. It has to. All right, that's a fair distance. So much for uh, finding fungoids. 
Yeah, you've not been around for a while. Hope everything's okay, matey. Oh, no. Can you imagine? Can you imagine going down there? Yeah, that's going to help. They look like they're snow-capped. Should I? <laughs> I'm already doomed down here. I mean, okay, it doesn't look... It doesn't look too bad, but... It doesn't look like things are that bad. But I don't think my ship's going to come and get me from here. It's going gonna, it's gonna to want to end up up there. I'm going to see if I can find a way out, because that canyon, I don't mind flying into it. But I'm not going to put my SRV down there. Although I do take bribes. <laughs> but the ice, though. I'm quite impressed with the detail. So, before I forget... And I will. The terrain's amazing uh, right now. If you've seen my Sunday stream that we just did, we, we came across some amazing um, planets. It's extremely impressive what they've done. What's my heading? Let's call it. Let's call it 200. So add 180 gives me 380. So 20 degrees. 20 degrees means my rear end is facing the same way as what my front just was. Come on. Oh. Okay. Let's see if we can get a bit of a run. That'll do. Stop, stop, stop. It's icy as well, so it skids. Go. Don't hit anything. Come on. Just keep going up. Just keep going up. You'll be fine. Oh, what have I hit now? Oh, jeez. Wow. Hey, thanks, bud. Thank you, Budman. <laughs> Thanks, Budman. Much appreciated. Wow. Super, super, super duper. Awesome, matey. Thanks for the fright. Uh, yes, very, very kind of you, sir. Nice. Did I get out? Look at that, you gave me extra focus to get out there. But we're still on a massive, slopey, slanty hill thing. Come on. It looks like we're fairly level, but if you look at the radar, we're really not. I think we... Did we actually manage to get out of that? I did slide a long way. I think we're out. Check records. Yes, please. Come back to me. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Budman. Yeah. I know, it does... It does frighten me, that. <laughs> Thanks for the wake up call. That should be my my uh like or every time I get a like a Facebook message or a WhatsApp message, it just 
it, it makes that noise. Right, it's going over there, right? So I've got a still got a ways to go. Is it landing or is it? Yes, it did. Yeah, I thought... Oh. Who designed this? The SRV doesn't clear the front of the ASP. Bad design. Yeah, I, I kind of thought I would be stuck again there. Uh, keep wanting to board there. Let's take a look at that canyon if we can. And then I want to try and find the fung fungoidia. Fungoids. Yeah. Or, or the ship lands in the canyon. I think it's to my left, is it? I mean, it will be eventually. Is that it? No. Where, where did it go? Oh! Vantage. Right there. Right, so the plants are were there. Yes, I've just got to be low. Let's do the plants first, then, and then we'll get the uh, we'll get that canyon. They were here, right? I too high still? Hmm. It was just a load of them. Oh, where have they gone? There we go. Looks like I don't know if they are still peach. Dear. Kind of looks looks that way, and if they are, then we'll just forget it. No point scanning the same thing again. I suppose you can though, because it's a different planet. But I don't really fancy trying to find three different samples of something I've just done. from last time do not walk it it's too far oh this is really slidey deeply slippy Matt's Mechanical come in. Oh, Matt's Mechanical. Hey, Mary and Netbreed. Hi. I read your message out, but I should have said hi as well. Mark Shaw. Hey, Mark. Sorry if I've missed you guys. Sorry about that. That looks peachy to me. Oh, well. Yeah, has the sun... I think the sun's gone down now. It was kind of up here before, but... On the ice planets, uh, well, like here where you see the light of the ship, the galactic glow will appear on the ice as well. I've actually seen that for myself, and it actually it it does the whole like 
the whole galaxy, uh, that streak, you'll be able to see the reflection of it in the in the ice. You might have seen it if I hadn't had my ship lights on. Uh, but yeah, these look exactly the same. So I'm gonna take a sample anyway. Oh, it's different. Oh no, it's gold. I'm going to Balaram gold. Shoot. Ain't that just great? What was it, guys? 800, 800 meters? So why do I get the feeling? This is not going to go well for me. Unless, of course, we take the ship and go to a more daylight setting and find some more there. Hit again. Like I said, probably not going to end well. Let's try and get to a more daylight setting. And hope we still land on a fungoid patch. The landscape is just too unfriendly. And you know, you don't get paid too much for these. I mean, you might just, you might make anywhere between, I don't know, a couple of hundred thousand and, a, and a, over a million. But it's not really about the money. It's getting your name on the thing, Codex. Let's try that again. I'll never get used to the SRV being second in the list. They, they need to change it soon before people get used to it that way. <laughs> okay. I think we're going to have to super cruise, guys, to catch up with the uh, sun. Let's see if we can find any just by doing this. So glad we have night vision. Because without, yeah. Don't even want to contemplate that because that's end of ship. You hit <laughs> if you hit it too hard. Look at that! Look at that canyon down there as well. I mean, we're way too high to see any at the moment. How deep is your love? Look at this. What if there was a load down here? landing gear doing no 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 don't get wedged in I'm telling you this this is not friendly landscape Imagine trying to zap a Messi's Odorite or something <laughs> on the side of one of these walls. You just wouldn't risk it, would you? Yeah, 
I think we're going to have to super cruise out. I mean, there's some decent canyons, but you wouldn't want to do any racing around here. They're too, they're too short. <laughs> Thank you, Razor Firefly, for your five pound super chat there, matey. I will put it towards my SRV repairs, indeed. I'm gonna need it. <laughs> Yay! Rusty's barked. Thank you, Commander Razor Firefly, for your kind five pound super chat. Put this towards your SRV repairs. There you go. Thank you very much, Razor. Certainly appreciated, my man. You can't, you can't make that. Tell you what, I am of the opinion now that you may have to sacrifice a little bit of jump range in Odyssey in order just to fit some heavier, stronger shields to your ship because with some of this terrain, having weak shields on an exploration ship, which is what I tend to do, I just have them there in case I'm maybe hit a mail slot on the way in or maybe you know don't land very well on a planet so i just have some rudimentary uh, shields but because of the way the landscape is yeah uh, I'm, I'm heading towards the thinking of engineered shields now which will cost a little bit of jump range but eh, not not very much this one has 65.8 I know they can go, they can jump a bit, a little bit further than that, but I'm okay with what I have on board. And I actually jumped into a, a system that had a neutron star the other day and I refused to scoop it. I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to lose my power plant 1%. Are those the only things you do if you play solo? Um, I I don't know, Ollie. You can. I think I haven't really explored everything of Star Citizen, but I know you can do mining and stuff like this. What's the exploration like in Star Citizen? Is, is there anything? I mean, I don't know how many planets they have now, but can you? Is there an exploration aspect to it, where you can maybe find, like in Odyssey, like organisms and scan them and is there anything like that do you get first discoveries on planets do you get anything i don't know i i don't know what there is for the exploring star citizen i've never explored that avenue and i don't know why i came all the way out there but i wouldn't mind getting another look at the surface map so this is the fungoids map right yeah. See, I had to refresh the, that one. Okay, so let's go to that great big batch over there. If I can. I just pressed the boost button. Didn't work. So, this little, well, actually big pool of blue right here. Slow down, Russ. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Not like really slow down. Okay, you can go vertical for a little while. Don't go beyond the drop zone. There you go. There you go. Right, what are we pulling into here? Oh, fudge. Why can't the fungoids not grow in this? It's only in the green bits, look. Ooh, flatness. Can we look? Yes, we've got some flatness, guys. The lighting's amazing. I want to land just on that cliff. Yeah, I know. 
me landing near a cliff. Not, not good. Oh, you changed your phantom. Cool. Rebel Galaxy. Yes, I have Rebel Galaxy Outlaw. I played it once on stream. I haven't been back to it. But when it comes to space exploration, I, I think it's basically Elite Dangerous and No Man's Sky kind of got the, the honours on that one. And No Man's Sky, even more so. Oh, no Man's Sky, I, I would put it even more so because any pl any species or creature that you find, you can you can name them yourself, and the creatures you can even feed them and make them your pets, um, and they'll help you out. Um, and you've got that tool that can make the ground disappear, that excavation tool thing. Well, you've got that as well. Uh, yeah. But this, it's nice that you can do all of that stuff and visit planets, but there's something about the way Elite Dangerous does it that just feels more authentic than No Man's Sky. Even though No Man's Sky, I would say, offers a, say more to do, like more features kind of thing, but Elite Dangerous gives that authentic feel of... And I, I think it's probably because Elite Dangerous uses, like, <laughs> the 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 stars and the and space is black, uh, you know, where in No Man's Sky it's purple or green or blue. It doesn't lend itself to immersion. But in terms of actual exploration, and look at these planets, my god. So you wouldn't see this in No Man's Sky like this, I don't, I don't think. Because everything would be weird, glary colours. Which I think is No Man's Sky, one of No Man's Sky's letdown, letdowns. It's just the glary colours. It gives it that arcadey kind of feel, which is a shame. But I like that it has firestorms and you have to shelter from the firestorms and if there's no shelter you have to dig a hole in the ground with your tool and then um, you get in and then you can reverse it and just you know just barricade yourself inside until it passes and the and Elite Dangerous doesn't have anything like that the lighting here is tremendous but I've not seen any plants yet Just take a moment just to look at this where I am here. See if I sideways shot there. Take a shot. <clears throat> I like No Man's Sky. It's it's got its own it's got its own things. And I, I can I can uh, easily just Put hours into it, but as I said, the, there's something more authentic about Elite Dangerous, and I think when it comes to that, that authentic space feel, I don't know. I just feel that Elite's always going to win that battle against anything else that's out there. I mean, Citizen, Star Citizen is uh, graphically looks better than Elite Dangerous. No, no point debating that. But it's it's far from finished. God knows when it ever will be. Didn't they say there was fungoids here? I'm starting to not believe them. How low do I have to be to for them to pop in? My 
my luck, they're probably gonna grow. God. Oh. Okay. How deep is this? Are there any down here then? And we can't land because there's too many rocks. And the, one of the main things I like about Elite Dangerous is the control method. I find the ships in Star Citizen a lot harder to control. It's like, it's almost like a semi fight assist off kind of mode. It doesn't really gel with me that much. Uh, I agree with you, Aquatic. I think ED does need more exploration content. I think they should flesh out exploration a lot more. There's a lot more potential for it. Well, I think we're going to have to abandon the search for these plants because even though I landed in a place where they were supposed to be, looks like it might have lied a little bit. Or I'm flying too fast and not low enough. But it feels low enough. I don't really want to get that low. And I shouldn't have to be like 20 meters off the ground just to see something. They're too sparse. going to be making not the next jump up there but the 4a planet imagine I've got 42 jumps still to go at this rate it'll be 42 streams worth because I'm still in the same system I'm gonna have to get a move on at some point let's just try down here as a last resort think not. Yep. I think that's it. So the, the gold one I guess we'll just have to abandon it. Now if nobody had ever discovered it before that will be different. Oh yeah, Elite uh, rocks. It does. Mind you, there's... In sort of see, there's too many rocks now on those planets. But yeah, it does. It always has done, though. It, it never... It never hasn't rocked, so to speak. Never has. Never hasn't, I mean. Because if it didn't, I, I wouldn't have spent the last six years playing it and and streaming it, I just wouldn't have bothered. I mean, it got it got a little bit samey and boring and stuff to, before Odyssey Alpha came out, you know, and they delayed it a couple of times, Odyssey, so it was really hard to come up with content for a stream. Uh, but now, Odyssey's really given it a new lease of life. Especially for us, I don't know about the other uh, content creators for Elite Dangerous, but certainly for me, it's it's given it a new lease of life, and uh, yeah, more content is what what we wanted. And Odyssey provided that not only with you know missions and becoming a psychopathic killer all of a sudden, but um, Exploration has been enhanced and the planet tech is fantastic. They they delivered on that. 
what they haven't delivered on is um, ultimate frame rate when it comes to uh, being on the bases, in the bases. And it's all that complex lighting they've got going on, I'm sure. It's just killing the frames, shadowing, and uh, maybe they should bake shadows and maybe colour a few more polygons, I don't know. But hopefully they'll, over the updates, update 7, update 8, 9, 10, whatever, hopefully they're going to be uh, <coughs> improving all of that. And yeah, if they, who knows, maybe update 8 and it'll say 20 new species of plants. Oh great, now we've got to go out again. <laughs> Everybody back to the bubble nebula. <laughs> or wherever. Whatever takes your fancy. I know the day after we started um, our ex expedition, I think Commander Plater has gone on one on the day after, gone somewhere else. Um, something Liberty Nebula or something. But I think if I'm not, I don't know whether his is a solo trip or he's taken people with him. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, he he decided to do some exploration as well, <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see what he finds. But like I said, I I was discussing this with Angry Citizen for like like a month before we're talking about this. In fact, probably further back, um, certainly in the alpha, we mentioned it, saying that we have to. You know, with the new planet techs and stuff coming, that we, we have to go out on an exploration trip. But we knew that we weren't going to do it straight away because um, we wanted to get all the uh, <clears throat> all the stuff in the bubble with the the, the bases and the, you know the missions and the the mission givers and stuff like that. We want to do all that and get that out the way. I think we've done that. So now it's this. Oh, he's got a gang as well, okay. Right, let's have a look. And, oh, this is a small one. Four probes, and I can already see the atmosphere. So let's pull it back. Let's try three probes, see if we can get away with three. I think we should. Okay, what do we have? Bacterial and Fonticulua again. Oh. I want something different. And the map's exactly the same look. This is what I was getting at before. Bacterial, so is what are they saying? That bacterial is only growing in the same places that the Fonticulua is? Or does bacterial not have its own map this time? Because it's, it's identical. It looks like we have a decent atmosphere, so I'm going to pick a patch and then switch over to this map. Okay, I've changed my mind. I want this patch over here. Reasons are kind of obvious because we've got some different terrain right there. So it, you've got that big plateau there in the middle, that ridge, and then we've got the blue bits or grey bits. Well, in between the smoother part, that's what I want to land. Just going to put it down right in the middle there. Because there's nothing, nothing up there. But I kind of want to be in the dividing line. Look at the folds. Look at the folds just there. It's like, I don't know. If you've ever seen the inside of a spinach pie, <laughs> you'll know what I mean. It looks just like this. Well, this is, 
Even if there's no plants here, this is definitely worth getting out for SRVing. Where am I? Oh, nice, great big parking space. And down, how gentle. What's that, Chris? Every single content creator that started the stream Star Citizen have arrived because I couldn't stand the way the Star Citizen community attacked a dangerous dev team. Do you mean actual Star Citizen content creators as opposed to people who were in the Elite Dangerous but rebelled uh, against F Dev and went to Star Citizen? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's. You don't need to attack the other game, really. It's it's so silly. Because I could, I could certainly have a really good few hours in a late dangerous and enjoy myself fully, and then just load up Star Citizen for another few hours and enjoy myself fully. But why can't I do that? Why can't I just enjoy both? That's what they're there for. They're both there. They're not there to compete and we have plantage guys do we <laughs> we do it's those umbrella -y things oh I think I've got these ones there's some more over there uh, yeah no I um I I'm happy to you know to play all of them because it doesn't really matter as long as you enjoy the game nothing else really oh that's that's not pink <laughs> it's just my back lights lighting it up um yeah i just enjoy them all and no one can tell me you know that i can't i'm allowed to and I will. And screw anybody who says otherwise. Yes, plantage. That's my word, Cosmic. I don't know. If, I don't think it's real. Uh, amethyst. I've definitely done Amethyst before. That, I'm sure I have. Not here, but I've, I've done it before. So, on our travels, I think Fonteculia, oh, I'll have to double check. I think it's a thousand meters, but I'm going to check. Or one kilometer, if you prefer. So what have I just got? Is it this one? Yeah, amethyst. So, oh, 500 meters then, the range. Look, yeah, 500 meters. So this is Campestris and it's amethyst. Wasn't it? Yeah. I thought I did one. Wouldn't... My name wouldn't be there though, would it? Because I need to hand it in. All right. So we need to be 500 meters away. This one. So what? What? Just, what? What's going on? What? The, what was that noise? Oh. Right. Something happened. I don't know what that music was. Did somebody join? It should come up on the on the chat. <laughs> <coughs> wow, I don't know what that was. I think somebody joined, but if you did, thank you very much. I'm waiting for it to come up on the chat, so I know what happened. Let me have a look in my. Uh, I have a program tell me what just happened. I find it hard to pronounce the plant names. They're not the easiest, some of them. I mean I'm only I'm only guessing. I'm hoping I'm saying oh it was a subscription. Okay. 
Bear with me just a moment, guys. I just need to access something on my desktop. And got this thing called Elite Dangerous in the way. Now to get to it now. No, subscription doesn't give that noise, it's something else. Um, go to desktop here. I've got, an, I've got a program on my desktop, which should... If I can remember what it's called. I think it's called Mission Command or something like that. And it ties into... Um, it ties into Streamlabs. Oh, actually, I think OBS can do it. Sorry, stream elements. Okay. No, oh, it's not it's not in the activity feed. Huh. Well, whoever it was. <laughs> It was something, it may have been somebody became a member or something. In which case, I thank you very much for your awesome support. That was brilliant. And I'm sorry I don't know who you are. But I didn't recognise that music at all. Just reloaded the overlays there. Now, okay. Well, thank you anyway. Do appreciate it, whatever it was. Made me mount a rock. Right. Into the spinach we go. I've got my OBS showing a larger screen now. It was showing a much smaller screen, so I couldn't read the text. Uh, but I can now. Are we 500 meters? <laughs> you can see yourself skiing down it. <laughs> really? I, I get the feeling you'd probably hit something. I, I don't like how they make me wait. To find out how far 314 meters okay we need to go we need to go a bit more so let's get in the car go let's do some skiing oh I'll bet you these Fonte Cooler Coolua I bet they don't grow on the green bits but there's another one right there that looks like a good distance. He's on his own as well. Jesus, will you stop? The initial landing was fine. It's not stopping, guys. How icy. I've got very little gravity here as well, 0 0.07. How far away did I land from that lonely Fonteculiwa? Coming to say hello. Disembark. <clears throat> oh, it was a Patreon. Oh, thank you, Razor. Thank you, Razor. That's awesome. Oh, Patreon. Right. Thank you, Mary. I don't know why it didn't pop up on the chat because normally the Streamlabs bot would do it. Yes, thanks for your support. I certainly appreciate that tremendously. This thing's iced over. 
It looks very icy. The other one didn't look so icy as this, but you do get those variations because look, they've got icicles coming off them. I think that's what they're supposed to be. They don't really obey gravity that well. But this is, yeah, it is frosted over completely. Maybe it's a defense mechanism. Wow, oh, how high can I go in this gravity? Decent. To boldly tread. Okay, into the green we go. Just need to look how far, where my tracks are. That's how far down I I skidded. It's starting to get green already. Oh. Yeah, full reverse thrust, tra traveling blind. Not a great idea. That wasn't too bad of a landing. But look how the terrain kind of changed. Once it goes green, it, the terrain's just completely changing. I just love seeing things like this. The way that that... Oh, I've just driven on top of it. Just that big crack in the rock there. It's so, I don't know, believable? That, can I say that? I don't know. Very uh, shiny. Oh, really? By a small rock? They never. <laughs> you can't boot them out the way, can you? They're all stuck to the ground. But what I'm seeing here must be what looked like those ripples in the air when we were up in the air, and it looked it looked very ripply. This is what we're in right now. Oops. Yeah, not good. Ooh, floating rock. Let's just pretend that's a space phenomena that happens. Hold on. I want to get outside a little wonder. Okay. I think the sun's over here. Can't even see my SRV. It's down there somewhere. Do we see what we can get here in terms of a shot? Where's the sun? Just squeeze the sun into the shot there. How different every everywhere looks these days. But as I said, I don't think we're going to be finding the last sample onto Kula. That looks so good. It's like some kind of quarry. <laughs> the Mission Impossible vibe. <clears throat> I guess. It, it would be fitting to play that music in the background. Well, I am 1.2 kilometers away from the last thing that we scanned, so... If 
back and venture over to the white area again. Even though I'd like to go to the quarry. Oh, you've had an Odyssey crash? Nothing too destructive, I hope, Martini. Okay, Mats. Yes, enjoy, matey. And thanks for thanks for stopping by. It's all these long. Sh oh, okay. I was wondering what the long shadows were, and they just they just dips in the landscape. Couldn't quite work that out. The specular highlights, though, on the ice is. You can, I mean, it's really prominent. Trying to keep it under control. Do you know, if I was into exploration, I, I couldn't. Which I am. I do. I love. I love exploration. I could not now bring myself to go back to Horizons for any reason. I, I don't think I could ever go back in. Was to see the planets as they used to be. Although it would be cool, is to load up my a second account of mine, or you know, another account, and visit the same planet in both Horizons and Odyssey, and just do some comparison screenshots. Same planet. It wouldn't have to be the same coordinates. It wouldn't need even to be that because uh, because the planet will have changed so drastically that same coordinates is just it's absolutely meaningless, really. I mean, you could do it just for you know just for the sake of hold up. There used to be a big mountain here, and now there isn't. But in terms of the look of the planet surfaces now. It's not even a, you can't even really compare, it's just, it's literally just a, a world of difference. It's difficult to say without in, invoking a pun, it's night and day, it's like we're in a different galaxy, it's a different world, it's, another, it's on another planet. <laughs> I can't say it without invoking some pun thing, but it is so much more improved now. And if they keep pushing it and improving it even further, well, I can't imagine what's still to come then. I would love to see features like caves and I don't know what, overhangs, cliffs with overhangs. And maybe even like a tool, like a rope, like you can repel yourself down off cliffs or up. So if you fall down on foot, and your ship is recalled onto a cliff above, you can use like a rope thing to pull yourself up. I don't know, but that involves animations and stuff. But yeah, I'm just rambling, but. If they could flesh out exploration some more, I would rather see, like, if Frontier said, you know, we can either flesh out exploration, um, just concentrate on that for the next big update, and we'll just include a load more new stuff. I don't just mean plants, I mean things to do, things to find, and maybe even dangers from organisms or creatures or whatever. Um, but if they said they were going to expand it, or... We can do ship interiors. <laughs> what would you guys choose? I mean, I would choose exploration, of course I would. Because it's you can sink a lot more hours into it, there's more gameplay behind it, than just looking around your own ship. Because I think that gimmick would wear off fairly quickly, unless the ship interior is quite functional. But even then, you know, how good a job do you think Frontier would do of it? I would I would plump exploration every day of the week. Yeah. Yeah. And Commander Pandit and Casparus, yeah. 
Yeah, grappling hook ammo for the rocket launcher. Oh, wow. What a cool idea. And it pulls you up like Spider-Man, I suppose. <laughs> Ship manufacturing settlements. I would still like the SRV to have a, a fitted welding tool so you can weld your ship up or repair the hull of the ship and the power plant when you are out. Now what's all these markings? Are any of these the plants? I don't think so. Just shadows. My ship's hull. My hook. Yeah, I've got half an SRV here. Got 50% fuel and 50% hull. 50% brain power flying it. Aim for the flat bit, Rusty. Okay, so we're on to the... Still a bit green here. We haven't gone fully white yet. But I'm hoping to get there soon. My ship's left me behind. So back on the white bit, I'm hoping to pick up fun... fun to Fonticulia. Fonticulia. Fonts. Fonts. Yeah, fonts. EVA, yeah. No, uh, they can't, Steve, no. I mean, you know, we'll, we'll be... Like some of these surfaces here, some of these... None of the Frontier devs will have seen some of this stuff that we have. None of them, because it's just too, it's too varied. Right, do you think we're more than 500 meters away from the last one? Eh, maybe. And at least it's not icy, they're just normal, they're not covered in ice. Right, now we can leave. The other place, the other place, is that the right word? The other department where Frontier excel at is sound effects. And I, they always have. They always have. It's, they've always been premium when it comes to sound. So whoever does all of their sound mixing and stuff, wow, they're, they're very good at it. Just when the, um, like when the fleet carrier jumps and you're inside, so just some of the ambient effects that you hear are just tremendous. I don't think Frontier has ever been criticized for their sound though. I don't think, I, I, I can't think of anywhere where it would be. Department of Funny Walks. <laughs> yes, probably. I did, it wasn't, I think it was only a couple of weeks ago I, I watched somebody react to that video, the Department of Funny Walks. Oh man. Monty Python, eh? What can you do? A ship's trail, look. At least it better be my ship's trail. Listen to the scanner. Pick up my ship. It's like a submarine. Yeah, Simondo, exactly. Top-notch sound. They always have. But when the carrier's about to jump, let's say when it's about five, ten minutes away from a jump, and you can just hear the occasional echoey bang, and, you know, going on inside, and... What the hell am I doing here? Yeah, you've got this um, echoey bang going on inside and all these different sounds like it's just preparing to jump. It's the landing noise. Oh, the one where you're landing in a... There's me getting out again, look. The one where you where you land on a docking pad, you mean? Like it... Because that used to be a nice third. And now it's just... Pssst. Yeah. Big 500 ton anaconda comes in, 
and it lands on this launch pad and just goes, Psst. yeah. <laughs> Makes the same sound as a Nissan Leaf when it breaks. Uh, right, we're on 4A. We're about to do the next jump, guys. Thankfully, I hear you say. So we've been two, two hours and a quarter in the same system. And I've only looked at three planets, haven't I? Well, maybe two hours, let's say, two hours. Never gonna get to the bubble nebula at this rate. <laughs> I'm gonna have to just hope I jump through systems where there's no landables or it's just stars. And this is me jumping down. I still haven't got to that place where we're heading back towards the, the bubble. We are jumping now, Cosmic. Next system. I, I got my first I got my first footfall here. Rusty dog. Dusty, dusty rog and a lusty bog right there. So, didn't bother with this one. And I didn't even bother. These are all first discoveries and I turned them all down. Well, there's billions of them out there. Who cares? <laughs> right, let's go. Oh, no, not the carrier. The cosmic. No, this is just me jumping. with me a sec guys need to look something up on my bruiser browser fuel scooping complete yay okay detect Right, to the person who sent that message that I hid, if you don't know the answer to that question, I would seek medical attention. Maybe help from an adult. 13. How many... Has anyone been here before? No. Okay, we are eating up, so we need to move away. For the uh, little star to get small, like a P. There it is. And let's see what's here. Oh dear. Boring icy bodies only. Okay, let's quickly whiz through these. We'll probably find they're not so boring. Not like they used to be. Uh, what's that, Lee? Is this about the, uh, how do you scoop? Are you a sideways scooper? Or a belly scooper? Or a roof scooper? <laughs> For me, it's always been sideways scooping because it just... In the early days, I would probably do it with the roof because I always wanted to see the, um have the sun in view at the same time and I like when I'm orbiting planets but when it comes to fuel scooping for me it has to be side because then I can circle around at the same time and get myself into position for the next jump if that's what I'm about to do these icy bodies 
Tell you what, they look a lot more interesting than they used to. So many white, white ones and beigey ones before, but now. Here are the last two. Like a Star Trek cutscene. Yes. Yeah, pretty much just like that. System scan complete. Sometimes I even hum the tune. Not really, that's not true. Okay, let's have a look what we have. Nothing atmospheric. Hey ho! But I don't get my name. Do I? Now that I've done them in the uh, FSS, does that count as a that counts as a first discovery, right? Are these all first discovered by Rusty Dog, or or will they be when I hand it in? Is what I mean. Yeah. Let's jump to the next system. I think we've only got oh well, we've got three jumps, three jumps down, and then we'll go across. Because I'm not getting any doing these jumps is not bringing me any closer to the Bubble Nebula. So we'll still have 42 after this. Uh, what button do I use to tune the FSS? Uh, oh, 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 the backwards and forwards, right. Uh, mouse wheel. Mouse wheel. Up and down. Yeah, mouse wheel up and down. I think down, I scroll the mouse wheel down to move it to the right, and I push the mouse wheel up to scroll it to the left. Yes, that's, that's the easiest one I find. Definitely. I don't bother using keys, because that way, um, if I go into the FSS, right, I use my mouse here, okay, and then, obviously, uh, there's nothing here. Let me just honk it. Okay, so, so, he... Oh, it's not mouse wheel. Sorry, sorry, it's not. Do, 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 do. It's not. Hold on. Mouse buttons. Left button, right button. Left, right. Left, right. So, yeah. So, to do everything I need to do in the FSS, it's all mouse. It's all mouse. I don't have to use keys or anything. So, basically, um, it's mouse to look. Okay? And then left and right mouse buttons to tune and then the mouse wheel to zoom in just like that or everything on the mouse i just find that that is the quickest no keys nothing i only the only key i use is to just to to enter the fss which is the backslash key i don't know why it's showing two at the bottom and then the same to leave but you'll see that the zoom, the stepped zoom. Stepped zoom is holding the shift key and the mouse wheel, but I don't think you need step zoom anymore, do you? I've not had a, a need to use it for ages. But yeah. No, no, just the mouse is just easier, mate, honestly. As, as long as the mouse is close to hand, you know, like, um, like you're not sat too far away from it, which I'm assuming you wouldn't be anyway, but... I'm fuel scooping. Better be careful I don't get an overheat message. Because I know I'm quite close, but it, I might be able to pick up most. Okay, that's dark. I've not seen that before. Screenshot that. I think I might have discovered Raxler, guys. <laughs> oh, the world's darkest planet. What is that meant to be? 66% rock, 33% metal. Tidally locked. That might explain the darkness. I don't know. Content. Another one. 
quite a few HMCs here. Really good for mapping in terms of um, obviously uh, the the one you want to be looking out for are the terraformable water worlds and stuff like that. That's where the big bucks. But like I say, I'm not really looking for those. If one pops up, I might give it a quick scan and. But kind of on an Odyssey expedition, so to speak. Right, got five more to find. Oh, it's going to be behind this, is it? Can we get away with not moving? We are a bit too close for comfort, really. Because if there's one, just one, hidden behind that sun, no biologicals thus far. At least nothing that's featured up on the uh, info there. Okay, we have one more to find. Is it behind the big star or not? Probably. Got some other lines to follow. I'll bet it's behind here. Ah. Uh, did not get lucky with it, guys. Nope. Gonna have to move. So let's put it. Let's put it all behind us. Now it's easy to find the last one without hunting for it. So all I'm going to do is just back up and there should be one unexplored left in the list. Shouldn't there? Maybe not. Okay. I thought there might be just one more unexplored left in the list and then I would just lock it, point to it, and then launch the FSS. But it looks like it's going to stay undiscovered. So let's go through the main line first. It's up here. There it is. System scan complete. Thank you. Hiding behind the star. No atmospherics. Uh, apart from one, everything is landable. So you could easily spend a good few hours in if you so desired. There's no there's no biological, so it would just be a case of uh, just trying to appreciate the landscape. The landscapes. Pretty no atmospherics, but it's fine. That looks nice. Wow. Those ridges. That's There's a lot there, eh? How funny that those ridges kind of be... It's like on this... Let's call it an equator line, so to speak. Thing. Like there's nothing up here. Little, little bits, perhaps. Then there's just a load, a band right across the middle. And back to smooth again. Running right through the middle of it. Interesting. I don't know why. Almost like they've put two halves of a planet together and this is the welding. How bizarre. And it's running right across the terminator. That's weird. Okay, next jump. Interesting. Yeah. It's if time if I wasn't time limited, I would certainly investigate places like this. <laughs> yeah, water worlds. They'd have to put skis on the ships or something. Or give us a instead of an SRV, we can hover over the top of a over the water and just launch a little submersible and find plant uh, sea life and you know plants under the sea and stuff like they can in like you can in um, no man's sky you can you can find stuff underwater you can swim underwater yeah you can do all of that in no man's sky just saying 
Do we, has anybody been here? Are we going to check it out? Do it. So again, icy and rocky by the looks of it. Okay, well, it would be, it'd be nice. Ooh, I'm, damn it, I've got an orbit line going right through it, so there might be something there. Maybe not, though. Let's just pop this one. That's created a new orbit line, which is exactly what I wanted to do, so I could follow the path for the others. If you do. I also find the mouse buttons for scanning across the frequency range there. I find them, it's, I don't know, it, maybe they're a bit uh, more sensitive than keys are, so you can make, or less sensitive, so you can make more precise movements, perhaps. Or you can just, I don't know, maybe you could do it with a key. I've never used this uh, map with a key, be, uh, the FSS screen with a key before, never. Another one. Oh yeah, you can just see it, look at the bottom. This must be to do with the new lighting system that Frontier has. Given dangerous. <laughs> oh, you're just listening to the sound effects there. It looks like it's having uh, some digestion problem. Again, another interesting looking surface. Seen something similar to that one before. Why? Why are what's this nine and two? Why are they highlighted at the bottom? Anyone know why? Why that would be, guys? Nine, oh, uh oh, I think I might know. Let's have a look at the system map. Is that these two? I don't know. Okay, we have atmospheric landable. Only the one. Let's have a pop over and see what's there. They, nothing came up as any biologicals, but I'll map it anyway. And as we do that, we'll have a look where we... I haven't come very far from that. <laughs> I've got to go over there. I'm never going to make it. But yeah, I did. I wanted to just come down because there was too many discoveries on this plane. It's down and then plot the line. That way I can stay out of the way of everybody else's discoveries. Oh, the number of each type. Is that right? Oh, yeah, okay. So nine Rockies and two Icy. Oh, cool. I learned something. Uh, um, Godsless, the, it's, it completely varies. It really does really really varies big time <clears throat> i can't there's not even a rough number like if you find an earth world or, or a terraformable water world or i think you can get terraformable high metal content right or metal rich they they can they can reward you a lot more but there is a chart out there you can find on the internet that tells you the current prices of everything like black holes as well Black holes don't pay as much as, you know, terraformable water worlds, I think, are the highest reward. Yeah. But, I don't know, lowest could be a few thousand, um, and then you could get up to a couple of million, maybe, for a system, maybe more. I think I had... 
I remember seeing a figure of seven million once, but I don't know if it was for a, a one system or a whole page. Wow, this looks like a ball of aerial washing up liquid, liquid washing powder. Uh, right, four probes then, so it looks like it's a very small planet. Pop one there, that should do it. Surface scanned by 50. We could probably get away with two. Let's see. Surface scan complete. So, we do have biologicals. Even though it didn't come up. Well, I'll be dipped. So, A1A. So we've got bios, uh, fronticulia, of course. So wait a minute then. Just nip. A1A. I'm pointing right at it, so. Oh, flip. Target too close. Anyway. Right, so I guess we're spoilt for choice when it comes to... Right, so I'm going to land where there's these patches. I want to be in the patchy area. Right there, where you see it changing colour. And I want to be between the two colours as well, maybe. Where it's like a greeny colour and a dark blue, somewhere in between. What does it look like? Oh, gold. Okay. From past experience, I found that the plants or Fontaculia likes the white bits, not the green bits. So we have a big chunk of white to land here. Although I don't think I'm going to bother <laughs> scanning it. Just going to grab the footfall. We've got another boost. Okay. <laughs> right. Repair limpets. My hull's gonna have to stay at 97. I don't know why I reacted too late or why I was coming down too quickly. The atmosphere again. It's that colour where if you go to the Terminator side, you get um, that, or you should get that deep red kind of sunsetty colour. But in terms, we're a little bit too high up to spot any plants. I think we need to be. I don't know what the. I, think, I don't know what it is. Is it like 200 metres maybe? Yeah, there we go. Look. See, uh, they pop the ones in the distance. They popped in and out. Yeah, I, I definitely need buffed up shields, but we're okay. It's a shame about the hull, but mind you, I'm not too far away from the carrier, so. I'll, I'm gonna get Roger to come out and fix me up. I can I can fix all my modules though. Oh, they're okay. Oh, every all my modules are fine. Oh, okay, no worries then. Yeah, no problem. All, my, all the modules have survived. It's a pity we don't have a synthesis for ship repair. So I've got no use for my AFMUs. But yeah, I'd have to use a rip, I'd have to get a repair limpet. But yeah, these Fontaculua, I don't know, it's going to be a different variation, but I'm not going to bother. I remember in Odyssey Alpha, one of the first things I came across was these plants which were just they were like trees, they were like really up high like that. Really huge. Um, and I've not seen them since at all. Uh, 
there's the star, the sun lighting up everything. <laughs> Hand the keys over. I know that was shameful. The sound under your feet is different. On a surface like this than on a rocky planet. You can hear it crunching. And then on the ice you can hear it cracking. Well you can in the SRV. I'm not sure about on foot. Let's get the hell out of here. 97% hull. That's fine. I'll last. It's not like I'm out for weeks and weeks on distant worlds. I've only got to get to the bubble and wait for the carrier. Mouse bear 42, hi. Okay, freaky, take care, matey. Yeah, I'm not going to be too much longer. I set myself a cut off time, but I can't remember why. I think we're jumping, guys. I think we're hyper jumping. Here we are. We are indeed. I'm aligned. Let's pick up some useful fuel we need. No orbit lines, doing it like a boss. <laughs> so that's our last jump down. Now from now on it's all it's all about getting across. So how many bodies was there? Did we scan? Did we did we honk? Oh hello. Asteroid clusters. High metal content. Uh, right, let's get the asteroid clusters out of the way. We only need to do one of those. And then they're all done. I think there's probably one in there. Oh. Did it just do them? That's a high metal content. Right. Um yeah, okay, so they're the ones that are in scannable range. Up into one. Guess we need to do a new one. Huh. Why are they still... okay. It looks like they've probably been done. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's it. That's all of them done. We used to have to scan all of them in the in the early days, but Frontier soon realised that's not going to fly. And then they changed it so that you only had to scan one, and it did all of them because they have no significance in the game really. Got. Again, I'm too close to the low star, and I shouldn't be. See, we get lucky in here. Oh. One more. We got lucky. System scan complete. Right. Do you have? Now, if that had been landable. I wonder if the biologicals that show up. Yeah, I'm starting to just. No, never mind. 
I'm just thinking out loud and it doesn't make sense what I was about to say. Alright, so let's head over to Buble sector. Let's say here. 41 jumps. Right, I'm one jump closer than I was uh, nearly three hours ago. But at least we're heading towards it now. A Thargoid Hunter in a Crate Mark II, eh? It's been done before. I like my, uh, I like my uh, Anaconda Thargoid killer. And anybody who does it in a ship less than an Anaconda, I can only admire. Although I have done it in, uh, in a wing or a team now, um, with uh, with a dropship. I had a dropship, as uh, anti Zeno dropship. That was fun. Okay. Let's see what we have. Ah, all icy bodies. Ah, you never know what you're going to miss now. I suppose this is a good thing. In Horizons, I would probably just skip this and jump again. But now, you might be missing something really sweet. An atmospheric landable with seven biologicals. You just don't know until you scan it. System scan complete. Then again... Ooh. Ooh! Oh, three landable atmospherics. 0, 0.0 atmospheres, 0, 0.0 atmospheres, 0, 0.0 atmospheres. Brilliant. Surface temp 27k to 53. Nine. Okay, they're all. We, they're all um, within tolerances. 0 0.3, 0 0.3, and 0 0.4G. Let's go to this one. Just pick out the guy in the middle and leave the other two. <laughs> and you'll never know what you're leaving behind. Yeah, you can, yeah, you're right, Cosmic, there's, you know, you can approach it from different aspects, you know, you can do it just for, like, not even bother scanning at all and just do it for distance, you know, to say that you, you went to Beagle Point and you, um, you know, you, you did that trip and then you made that little extra jump as well to... If you've got the Jumponium, you can make that little extra jump. I think there's two jumps beyond, isn't it? There's two jumps beyond Beagle Point, gets you further out. Just so you can have it on your codex that you made that distance. Um, or you can just... I know there's, there's people that have just hit economy mode on the route plotting and just visited every little system along the way just finding yeah discovering everything because they're not missing anything out economy mode must be killer i wonder if anyone's done full economy mode all the way to beagle point because wow that is that's dedication 
This looks interesting. Hey, score. Yeah, I went to Beagle on Distant Worlds too. Yeah, it was good. Getting, getting back pre-carrier. Yeah. I don't think I used the carrier at all there. Oh, did we not get anything? Didn't we win a prize? Okay. Obviously not. No thermal map. Let's take out the uh, surface and get our first footfall on here. Looks like spilt coffee or something. Orbital flight engaged. Every colour's got like a different surface to it somehow. These mountainy areas where you see it like loads of little mountain kind of things. I've seen that a lot lately. A bit more variation in height maybe would be nice. I'm still undecided where to land. I just realised I'm still six kilometres up. Just save your boost, get some boost back, you might need it. And how the landscape changes when you get down here. Okay, mountains are big enough. Forget it. These things look tiny, tiny from the air. Couldn't get an SRV through there very well. Well, that shininess suddenly went away. be able to land here. Hey Skua. Well all I can say is if you if you're interested in exploration then it's enough of a reason to get Odyssey on its own. Just for the planet tech, because the planets are just amazing. This <laughs> shelter. But yeah, you're welcome, mate. Um, I was, I'm happy to do it. Yeah, there's, there was just a lot of um, <coughs> negativity flying around, you know, with Odyssey. Some of it deserved, but most of it went too far. Toys out of the pram. But yeah, it's getting there. Okay, well, I got my first footfall. Look at these rocks. You would never see anything like this normally in Horizons. Every, every direction I look is a different colour. Browns and whites and 
browny, pinky hues kind of thing. Okay, Commander Pandit. Enjoy your sleep when you do go. Yeah. Oh, I just remember to break at a certain time. Okay. Got a little bit more time then, guys. We'll just take it maybe another half an hour. So I think we're jumping out now, right? I believe. So let's have a little skim across the... Yeah, look, the... the, the the shininess, the specularity came back. The only problem with this ship, I, I don't get a double boost right away. And in some situations that can save you, having, being able to do that. Oh, come on. I need a better, better thrusters. You found a black hole. Cool. Don't get sucked in now. Oh, it's obscured, really? Oh, yeah, just. Okay, a little bit of height then and we'll be good. Alright, this might look good actually taking off from from the outside of the ship here. Let's see what happens. Come on, planet, turn turn orange. Come on. Quite wasn't that far over the horizon, was it? Still red. Got a red light. Three oh four. What time is it? It's three oh four. Yeah, rock. Yeah, rock samples. Yeah, why not? There's so many different terrains and stuff. Why can't we take rock and soil samples as well and take them to a science lab inside your ship and refine them in alchemy and stuff? <laughs> That'd be good though. Rock samples and soil samples. Just go on some kind of scientific or biological ex expedition to seek out new life and, oh, that's been done. Yeah, something like that. Right, we've got 13 bodies here. So, take a look. And thankfully, four of them have already been taken care of. <laughs> But at least we're under 40 jumps now. Seriously, all icy. Every one of them. <sighs> you know what? I'm going to leave that for somebody else. Because A, I need a bit of variation, and B, I need to get a little bit closer to the bubble.
Yeah, like a, an SRV with one of those moles, mole drills on it, you know? The mole things that can drill into the, the rock. I wonder if Frontier have ever sat and discussed anything like this. The possibilities. Because then I, what I'd do, I'd use the mole to dig a tunnel under underneath a base to get in. Sneak my way in. I'm not setting any of the alarms off. <laughs> Got to think outside the box there. Okay. So there's two two suns visible. Okay. So honk it. I don't remember if I did. I think I might have. No. Oh, hello. Water worlds. And high metal. And rocky and oh, okay. I wanted variation. But at least we got a water world. If it's terraformable, well, we won't know until we scan it, and I will certainly be doing that. So, HMC to start with. Quickly run through the biological one. Hmm. That's confusing me, that, because I'm sure we visited a planet that had, that I, I probed or mapped, and it had biologicals but it didn't show up here in the FSS so is it only showing certain types in the FSS oh I don't know what the logic to it all is yet zoomed out too soon there that's an icy body Codex. Oh, transformable. Or oh, terraformable, sorry. It told me. It told me right there. So B1 is terraformable high metal content. You have been marked, my friend. Marked for mapping. Or is it, have I already made that discovery? But I mean, have I already discovered it as a... Yeah, once you do this, that's a first discovery, right? Well, I don't need to map it to get the credits for that. But obviously mapping gets you even more credits, so of course you would. The more you do, the more you get paid. What I'm really interested in is to see what my exobiology rank is goes up to I've I've handed in a couple there it is I've handed in a couple of uh, plant data but I've not looked at my ranking since I'll have a look now I don't think I've been promoted or anything though but it's currently oh it has gone up yeah mostly directionless and it has gone up because it was that was maybe a third of the way up but now it's nearly I was going to rank, rank up to the next one. Maybe it has to refine the scan, yeah? Hey, Happy, how are you doing, sir? Scallywag. <laughs> yeah, right, so... Apparently... We have... This place, which has, which is terraformable. Let's see if it tells us here. This body is a candidate for terraforming. Okay, so I can map it, but I've already got the reward for finding a terraform. What about the water world? I believe it's this one. Terrestrial water world. This body is a candidate for terraforming. Right. I'm going to map it. 
I want to I want to at least map these two, and we have a landable uh, we have a landable atmospheric here. Temperatures are I think they're still okay, but we need to map this this. Hope that's not too far out. Soon find out. So let's head towards A1 first. Cruising speed because I don't want to overshoot it. And oh, okay, three thousand. That's it. No worries at all. So here comes the water world. Texture on that looks cool from here. It looks like a nav beacon. <laughs> okay, we have a water world. No Kevin Costner in sight. Right, let's get it mapped for some extra cash. No. Six million biologicals. Okay. So next step then is down to there. That'll it. That'll be it. That was that. This is the place that came past us on the side there. Look at the Earth masses. Wow. Radius. 673 kilometers. Small place. Out of curiosity, six hundred and forty eight. So, if we had a seventy light year jump range, you could probably get to me in ten jumps. Ten jumps. Okay. I might give my friend Roger a call. Ask him to st stick some repair limpets onto my hole. <laughs> Should I drag him out oh, just for three percent? It's not worth it. But we can, yeah, we can, if he wants to. Right, so let's see what's here. Atmosphere. Biologicals. Who knows? Good night, Cosmic. Have a good evening, matey. Oh, we have a little bit of a red patch over there. That's a crater impact. 
That's interesting why that's a different colour. Wow, what the hell hit that? Slow down, slow down, slow down. Are we too close to probe it now? Nope, we're not too close. Oof. A light show. Good night, Tegnaro. Hey, Roger. You're there. Yeah, I'm, I'm moving around all over. Bacterial colonies. Pretty much everywhere. I'll still land somewhere where there isn't any. Um, yeah, it's not worth it for 3% though, Roger. I mean, unless you've really just got nothing to do. Got some spare time on your hands. It's not worth it. Look at, when you can see the atmosphere already, that's when you know it's probably going to look good. Maybe once the um, once the fleet carrier makes its way to the bubble sector, then we can get repaired there. So, it, bacterials doesn't like to grow on high ground by the looks of it. Which makes sense. So I'll, I'll try and stay low. I don't think I'm going to find one, I'm not really looking for one either. Boosted before looking at the... Uh, the amount of G. Look at this um, look at this here where it goes from like a creamy colour to a greeny colour and you've got like a sandy colour in between. You see that? Those details just so, so very good. When does the carrier jump again? Um, I don't know the exact date to be honest, Aquatic. When it jumps to the when it's jumping to the uh, bubble sector, I think it's seven days. I think it might be on Thursday. I'm not actually sure. Yeah, I think Thursday, and then on the Sunday stream, it'll be heading back. I think I'd rather spend a bit more time out here, to be honest. Depends. I mean, if people who are on the expedition and see it, we could we could delay the carrier coming back for a couple of days. I think. I mean, it's it's up to Angry Citizen at the end of the day. It's his carrier. But we could. <laughs> this looks. Oh, is it Sunday twenty second? Is that when it gets to the bubble sector, though, or when it leaves the bubble sector? You know what? I think my ship lights are spoiling it. it looks amazing. Wow. Again, it looks... The golden colour sometimes remind me of a, that crunchy chocolate bar. Let's get out. Let's have a quick wander. Yeah. Not here. Not seeing anything. Definitely inside a bacterial hotspot, but they you don't know how far between they are, whether they're different colours, whether they blend into the landscape. It's 
go over here for a second. I just want to take a commander free shot here. Add me. So I probably shouldn't be going up here then if I want bacterials being down. Probably onto the white bits as well. So <laughs> Death Valley. Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. Never thought of that. It kinda does. Got that little. Well, it's, I tell you what, it's got a bit of a Death Valley feeling to it. Like you're never coming out alive. Oh, jeez. Please try and clear this because I really don't fancy driving over this, whatever it is. Oh, it's getting lumpier. Oh, almost cleared it. Almost. Actually, not really. Ship dismissed. Yeah. I'm gonna guess if if they are anywhere they're down here. How different the landscape is now becoming to what it was behind me. I'll put night vision on, just in case. It's probably a, a way to show up um, biological, uh, bacterial, sorry, by, uh, by the cracks in the ground. Whoa, we just pass over one. I don't think so. I don't think we did. Okay, for somehow I've managed to call up the uh, Steam interface. Clever. Right. I don't think I just jumped over one. Might have been this pile of rocks that I saw. It's very deserty, isn't it? Extremely. This is the most time consuming thing to ever do, I think, in Odyssey. Scan for bacterials that you know are here, but you don't know where they are. It's almost futile. I mean, there's a puff of like. Dust there. I wonder if that's significant, or is it? Is it dust? Yeah, it is. What's going on here? We do have these from time to time. Could be just a hot rock. No bacterial here. I wish the footprints were permanent, because how cool it would be to just see a footprint. <laughs> so you know somebody's been here already. Not on this planet, obviously, I'm the first one, but... Great landscape though, here. Absolutely tremendous landscape. I know I recalled my ship, did it... Did it even... It didn't even bother, did it? Okay, Roger. Yeah, it won't be today anyway. Yeah, it's not worth it for three percent though, so don't worry. But thanks, thanks anyway. I know you would, but 
Uh, it, yeah, it's it's not enough damage. I probably won't get any more for the rest of the trip. <laughs> See, look how good, look at the detail on just that rock that... Yeah, keep got to look up because it, it'll land on you. Look, it's come from over there, look. Heart and soul. Put the gun away. The, the thing away. Oh, that would have been a nice one. Right. Do you see my SRV shut off? Uh, my SRV's uh, gun shut off there. Okay, let's go on ground level. I think we're too close. I can't go down anymore, that's it. And the mist, the, the dust, just makes that shot. Yes. There you go, the Heart and Soul Nebula. And this deserty landscape. Hey, William Barkley, how are you doing? Use the camera suite to find them. Oh, yeah. That's a point. Let's have a quick go of that. I, it's, it's just noticing them though. But yeah, speed. Because they're, we're looking for like circular. Oh, hello. Yeah. Obviously, they weren't blending into the uh, ground at all, but there they are. Sometimes they just do blend into the color. Uh, Well done, Andy. <laughs> I didn't think they were going to be that close. That's what it was looking for. A great big splodge like that. Oh, this is the same one as I got last time, I think. Let's see. No, it's not the same. This is teal. I think the one we got before was a different one. I think it was lime or something. Okay, teal. So. I need a remote control for my SRV. Just a reminder then about distance on the bacterias. I think... I think it's 500, but then my... Brain isn't really a good thing for this. So bacterium, yeah, it is 500. So Cerberus, teal, teal, teal. I handed my bacteria in, so I should have some here. There's the teal one. I'm just wondering if my name's going to be near. See, there's all these as well. I can't remember which was the one that I found. Mega Forests discovered a lot of different ones. So I've got to be 500 meters away from that one. You spent an hour trying to find bacteria on a planet covered in them. This is it, Tina. Yeah, the the bacteria is a bit more tricky to find because they are flat on the ground as opposed to plants, which are kind of obvious where they are. So I'm going to head towards the bacteria and over the top of it. And hope there's some out in the desert here. There's another spot on the right. See, these are easier to spot from the ship now. Because they just appear as green dots. 
as long as you don't fly too high, maybe about 50 meters up, then you should be able to spot them quite well from the air. There's another batch. But I don't think we covered 500 though. Get the one that's furthest away. Jump out and see what happens. Oh, it's doable. Let's do it. How far were we? Oh, it. Oh, yeah, eight hundred and thirty-eight meters. Wow, I didn't think I'd come that far. Okay. Yeah, sometimes th though the the bacteria can be the same color as the ground. That's the thing, and they just appear like cracks, but in a circular pattern. Bronze like Krondite. <laughs> oh, hello. See, now I've got the bacteria on my tires, so I'll be taking it back home. Ginrata and the outbreak. And that's it. Done. Back to the ship, if it's still there. Okay, let's burn some rubber. Or, or some thin atmosphere. There's my tyre tracks, look. <laughs> oh, that was not so good a landing. Sensitive. Yeah, sometimes, I mean, I've had two now that have been that greeny color, but sometimes they're just, yeah, they're the same color as the, as the landscape, so they're very camouflaged. And yet, yeah, there they were. I don't know how easy they would have been to locate had they been the same colour. You can't see them from this height, right? Because I'm 300 metres up and... Oh, there you can. Yeah, you can. Wow. Ah, but they're flickering in and out, though. But yeah, there you go. So uh, you would have just hovered maybe 50, 60 metres off the ground. And, the, you know, this is why I, I brought the asp. Now you can see them. Yeah, from the cockpit. Nice and easy viewing. I think better still in the Diamondback, right? Don't you get a little bit better view in the Diamondback? So we've got one more place to go in this system. Tea stains on your nan's carpet. <laughs> so we're just going to pop down to here because we need to map it simply because it's terraformable. Rusty door, door, door. Yeah, we got it. We footfalled it. 
so let's do this one more place and I'm still 38 jumps away from the bubble fantastic I don't know what that is in terms of light years Three oh four again. Three oh four LRC before one B one. <laughs> hey Marco, oh your dog is called Rusty. Yeah, so is well mine. My sister's dog now was mine. Yeah. Well, get on my Discord and post a picture. Let's see your your rusty dog. Yeah, I did. I I did post a uh, an image in my Discord about the bacteria, the green one I discovered. I posted it uh, yesterday. The first green one I discovered. That looks like an S shape in front of me, in the middle of the reticule there, although they are splitting up now, so it doesn't look like an S shape anymore. So were you looking for, how did you find this channel, Marco? Is it an elite dangerous thing, or were you looking for do you just type in Rusty and, and Dog into YouTube? <laughs> I was bound to come up in that search. Oh, thanks. Naming a rat. Why would you name a rat Rusty? You could paint one in that colour, mate. I don't even know why I'm bothering mapping this, you know, because it's just for the credits. Although it is landable, so it may be, may be of interest. Right, great pets. Yep, okay. All I can say is don't let don't let my rusty dog see that rat because he's killed a few. Rusty has. Rat, rats are quick; they can run quick, but Rusty just he gets them. He pounces on them. <laughs> you should see him scrabbling on the ground before he gets one, though. Yeah, kills it and walks away. He's ruthless. And I don't particularly like seeing it anyway, but here we are. Coco Land. Should do it. Five probes. That are six. Sir, 
surface scanned by 50%. Surface scan complete. And no, no life. It's a lifeless plant. Check it out. Orbital flight engaged. Not even any bacteria here. Nothing grows here. I'm trying to think if we should land in a crater or not. No atmosphere, no life. Now, how is this texturing going to work out when we get close? It's a bit blurry-ish, but now the detail's popping in. How's your shields, Rusty? 19. I'll do. Saw that one coming. I could have boosted, I could have pointed up and boosted, but I decided to take the hit for some stupid reason. Okay. You generate your shields, I'm going for a walk. First footfall? Of course. Dun, 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 dun. Leave my ship there for a minute just to charge its shields up. So there is a local starter here. Galactic core, very bright very clear from here. Quite featureless in comparison to what we have seen, but the texturing again is still top-notch, it's still good. And the blending here kind of works pretty well. Blending from this to this to this. It seems it works, it's nothing doesn't look bad it, it blends fairly fairly well yeah pretty happy with it it's nice to be running around and nothing's firing at me which is good because I don't have any weapons at all. I wonder what resolution the textures are. I know it's procedural, but... What's that? Looks like I'm not affected by the shields then. Oh, guys. Oh, okay, Commander Pandit. Good night, matey. Um, what was I going to say? I asked um, about the... Uh, I brought up a question, or so yeah, somebody brought up a question on the stream, and I was, was thinking the exact same thing of when you transfer a ship long distance to a carrier. Let's say it's going to take, like my ASP did, twenty-one hours. But let's say within that twenty-one hours, that carrier jumps. 
maybe another thousand light years out. Um, what happens? What happens to the transport ship? And I think, from what I can gather, it will still end up. It, it will still end up on the carrier, regardless of what system it's in, and it will still take the same amount of time, as as they previously said for the previous system. So, if they say twenty one hours, but you jump another five thousand light years out, further out then it's still going to take 21 hours and it will drop it in that system with with the fleet carrier that's what that's what i'm told so yeah so you could kind of exploit that by having your fleet carrier in the bubble but you don't you don't want it in the bubble you don't want it in the bubble you want it to be at least it has the carrier has to be at a distance because when you when you tell the carrier let's jump there's like a 10 minute delay, isn't it? Something like that? Or, yeah. Um, what's, I don't know what the delay is before it jumps, but you have to be at a distance where where your ship is, it, it can't transfer it to you within that time. So if it takes uh, 10 minutes to transfer your ship, or five minutes, you need to be further out. Right. So let's say you are let's say you are far enough out. It takes like let's say it takes ten ten minutes, fifteen minutes. Okay, fifteen minutes for your carrier to jump. So you need the, you need the the ship transfer time to be um, more than fifteen minutes. So let's say twenty minutes. Now you start jumping, and you might get well. I don't know. Will it ever catch up? If you keep jumping, like if I jump 500 light years, will the ship transfer catch up in time? But if you're a thousand light years out, you could do another couple of jumps, be 2,000 light years out, and it will actually drop you, drop your ship into the system that your fleet carrier is now in at the same time it said it would do it, take to do it a thousand light years before. Does that make sense? wherever your carrier was before. Yeah. So same time, but it'll still put it on your carrier wherever it ends up. Kind of cool. Right then. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm going to wrap this up. and I'm going to just stay here on the surface. And I would like to go a little bit longer, but I need to eat and have a couple of little jobs to do before I chill chill out so yeah we're going to stay here i'll turn the lights off because it's going to drain my batteries and that'll be it so yeah i'll join you again whenever probably sunday and i may have to be in the bubble by then we'll see <laughs> i just thought of the question for teeny it was the answer that was the longer bit but yeah I just wondered what happened because as I transferred my ASP out from Shinrata, I thought, what if the carrier moves? What happens? That was all. That was my part. And I asked, I asked people and that was, that was the answer I got. Yes, everyone, thank you very much um, for being here as usual and thank you for your support throughout the stream. That's been awesome. Uh, thank you for everything, for your company, for your likes, and all that stuff. So, much appreciated. Hope you enjoyed it, and be back again, probably Sunday, I would say, uh, and I'll try to be at the bubble, or somewhere near the bubble by then. God knows how I'm going to do it, but we'll try. So, until then, guys, have a good one, and I'll see you then. Bye for now.